Have you ever been asked about using LVMs while setting up a Linux machine and don't know what they are? In this video, I will be talking about the basics of Logical Volume Manager, or LVMs. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can stay alive and kicking. Logical Volume Manager, or LVM, is an abstraction layer on top of hard disk and partitions. That layer provides ease of use for managing hard drive replacements, repartitioning, and backups. The concept of LVMs isn't just used in the Linux world. In the Windows world, LVMs are used under the name Logical Disk Manager, which allows the user to create dynamic volumes as opposed to standard basic volumes. In the Mac OS world, under the name of Core Storage, this sits between a disk partition and the file system. Let's start by laying down some concepts and terminology. There are basically three layers in the LVM model. The first layer is the physical volume layer. These are your physical disk or disk partitions, such as slash dev slash sdb2, slash dev slash sdc, etc. These are the building blocks for the next layer up, which is the volume group. Each volume group is comprised of one or more physical volumes. These are the organizational group of a LVM. Most of the commands that you'll use apply to a specific volume group. And lastly, on the top is the logical volume, which are created from volume groups. These volumes are what you'll ultimately end up mounting on your system to be used as storage for the users. The logical volumes can be added, removed, and resized on the fly. In the example here, we have four physical volumes, slash dev slash sdb1, slash dev slash sdb2, slash dev slash sdc, and slash dev slash sdd. We have partitions from one physical disk, and then we have two whole disks and we can use them both equally as physical volumes. And on these physical volumes, we can create one or more volume groups. So in our example, we're gonna create the guest VG and server VG groups. And in each volume group, you can create one or more logical volumes. So in our example, we're gonna have the logical volumes named disk one, disk two, and disk three. If you use multiple physical volumes, each logical volume can be bigger than one of the underlying volumes, but of course the sum of the logical volumes cannot exceed the total space offered by the physical volumes. It is good practice to not allocate the full space to logical volumes, but leave some space unused. That way you can enlarge one or more of the logical volumes later on if you feel the need for it. Let's take a look at the commands that allow us to create these layers. But first, let's see what drives we have to work with. So I'm gonna do ls block. So you can see here, slash dev slash sda is my boot drive. And then I have a couple of uh, drives that I'm gonna use to create my LVM. So I have sdb, which already has two partitions created on it. And then I also have sdc, and SDD. Let's start with the physical volumes and see what we currently have in the system. So the command to do that is pvscan. So because these commands require root access, I have to do sudo pvscan. And so as I expected, because I have not created anything yet, it tells me that there are no matching physical volumes found. Since there are no physical volumes, we need to tell the system which volumes we want to become physical volumes. So the command that we're gonna use is pvcreate. So I'm gonna go ahead and do sudo pvcreate slash dev slash sdb1 slash dev slash sdb2 and slash dev slash sdc. So I'm gonna use the two individual partitions that are part of SDB, and then I'm gonna use the entire drive of SDC. So now let's run pvscan again to see the results. I'm gonna do sudo pvscan, and here you can see that we now have three physical volumes. 
and their total amount of space available and the total amount of use space is all listed there and they match with what we know as the sizes of those volumes. And since we have not created any volume groups yet, none of the space is being used. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this type on one of the drives to see what it now looks like. So sudo this type slash dev slash sdb. And so you can see here sdb has two partitions and each have a Linux LVM volume associated with it. So basically running PV create will prep a partition or disk by adding the LVM information to its volume table. Let's move up the abstraction layer to the volume group next. Similar to the physical volume, the first thing to do is to scan the system to see what volume groups already exist. The command we're gonna use is vgscan. So I'm gonna do sudo vgscan. And because we have not created any volume groups yet, the system returns with no volume groups found. Volume groups can be comprised of one or more physical volumes. So let's start one by using the vgcreate command. So I'm gonna do sudo vgcreate, and I'm gonna call this new volume group guest underscore vg, so I can actually distinguish it as a volume group, and then tell it what physical volume to put in there. So the volume that I'm going to use is slash dev slash sdb1. So now the system comes back and tells us that the guest underscore VG volume group has been successfully created. So let's run VG scan again to see the results. And so it actually comes back and we see the newly created volume group of guest underscore VG. So let's do this again, this time using two physical volume to create a new volume group. So I'm gonna do sudo VG create server underscore VG. And in this new group, I am gonna put slash dev slash SDB2 and then slash dev slash SDC. So once that's done, let's go ahead and verify again by doing the sudo VG scan. And now we see that the system has both the guest underscore VG and the server underscore VG volume groups. All right, so we finally reached the top layer, which is the logical volume. And again, let's see what we currently have in the system for logical volumes. And the command that we're gonna use is called, you guessed it, lvscan. So I'm gonna do sudo lvscan. And once again, since we have not created any logical volumes yet, you will get that none were found. So let's go ahead and create some. Let's create some disk space for our guests by giving them 20 gigs of storage. The command to use is lvcreate. And the options we need to specify is the name of the logical volume, and then the size, and then the volume group from where the disk space will be coming from. So I'm gonna go ahead and type sudo lvcreate dash dash name disk one dash dash size 20g and then lastly guest underscore vg so the dash dash name that's the name that we're going to give to this logical volume it's going to be called disk one and then the size is going to be 20 gigs and lastly we have to obtain space from a volume group so we're going to get it from the guest vg in this case so the system comes back and tells us that the logical volume disk one was created. And so to verify that the system did what we wanted, let's verify our actions with the LV scan command. So I'm gonna do sudo LV scan. And we see that this now comes back with the disk that we just created, disk one. So let's go ahead and create two more. Let's say we want to create a disk that is only 5 gigs in size and then another disk that's 120 gigs in size. So I'm going to do sudo lv create dash dash name disk 2 dash dash size 5g. And this time I'm going to get the space out of the server volume group. So I'm going to specify server underscore vg. And we're going to do this one more time, sudo lvcreate dash dash name disk3 
dash dash size 120 G and then again we want to take it out of the server volume group so server underscore VG and again I like to verify what I did so I'm going to do sudo LV scan and we can see that we have three logical volumes with the sizes that we specified. Note that the path name of the logical volume, right? It's in a special location that starts with slash dev, then the name of the volume group, then slash, and then the name of the logical volume. So that's how we are going to be addressing the logical volume space that we're going to use. Now that the logical volumes are set up, they need to be prepared for usage just like any other disk volume. We can use the disk type command to see the file system that's on there. So we can do sudo disk type slash dev slash guest underscore vg slash disk one. And the system tells us that it sees blank disk medium. Right, so that's indicative of a wiped device. So in order to use this space, we need to put a file system on that logical volume by using the mkfs commands. So for this first example, I'm going to put a ntfs partition on there. So I'm going to do sudo mkfs dot ntfs dash capital Q, capital I, capital L, guest disk, and then slash dev slash guest underscore vg slash disk one. Right, so we're going to do the quick format, no indexing, and then we're going to give it a volume label of guest disk. And we're going to put the NTFS on disk 1. So let's run disk type again to verify what we just did. So sudo disk type slash dev slash guest underscore vg slash disk 1. And we can see now that there is a NTFS file system on there. So now that there's a file system, we can go ahead and mount that logical volume for usage. So I'm going to go ahead and create a mount point, sudo make dir slash mnt slash guest. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount that logical volume to that mount point. So sudo mount slash dev slash guest underscore vg slash disk one slash mnt slash guest. And let's go ahead and cd into the mount point, cd slash mnt slash guest. And take a look around. We can do the ls dash lh. There's no files here, which is expected, right? Because we just created the file system. And then if we do the df dash h of dot, right? This tells us the amount of disk space that is available on this particular device. And we can see that the guest disk is 20 gigs in size, which is what we set it out to be. So we can start to use this volume. I'm going to go ahead and just put some data there. I'm going to use the dc3dd command to just create a large file. So dc3dd if equals slash dev slash zero of equals data dot dd cnt equals one meg ssz equals 4k. For more details on the imaging command, you can refer to the videos up here on the card. So once we've created this large file, let's go ahead and do a ls-lh again. So now we see that there is a new file called data.dd and it's about four gigs in size. So let's do the df-h of dot again. And now we see that that one file has taken up four gigs so our total available size is dropped from the 20. So let's set up logical volumes for the finance and engineering departments using the same steps. Let's go ahead and do sudo disk type of slash dev server underscore VG of disk two. And we see that it's blank disk medium. We do the same thing with disk three. And the system also sees blank disk medium. So again, we can use the MKFS commands to put a file system onto those particular volumes. So I'm going to go ahead and do an XFAT on the disk two. So I'm going to do sudo MKFS dot XFAT dash N fin disk. 
slash dev server underscore vg slash disk two. Right, so the dash n is to the name of the fat volume. We're gonna call it thin disk. And we're gonna apply that file system to disk two. Now let's go ahead and mount it up and take a look inside. First thing I need to do is create a mount point. So sudo make there slash mnt slash finance. And then we're gonna mount it up by doing sudo mount slash dev slash server underscore vg slash disk two space slash mnt slash finance. And then now that it's mounted to the mount point, we're gonna cd into mnt finance do a ls dash lh should be no files there because we just created that file system and then if we do the df dash h of dot it tells us that it in fact is the five gigs that we expect and it's pretty much mostly free because we haven't put anything on here yet so let's go ahead and do that we're going to do the same dc3dd command to create the data.dd file And once it's done, I'm going to do a ls-lh to see the file, right? It is a four gig file. And now I'm going to do df-h of dot. And we can see now that we have used four gigs of space. So our free space is reduced by that amount. All right, lastly, we're going to put a ext4 file system on the third disk. So I'm going to do sudo mkfs.ext4 dash capital L ENG disk slash dev server underscore VG slash disk three. All right, so we're going to put an ext4 partition and we're going to label it ENG disk and we're going to use the space that's in disk three, the logical volume of disk three. We're going to make a mount point, sudo make dir slash mnt slash engineering. And then mount it up, sudo mount slash dev slash server underscore vg slash disk three space slash mnt slash engineering. And then I'm going to cd into slash mnt slash engineering. Take a look at what's in here, ls dash lh. And in this particular mount point, we see the loss and found folder, which is normal for ext file systems. I'm going to do the df dash h of dot, and we see that there is 120 gigs or so of available space. And once again, I'm going to do the same dd command to create that four gig file. And then when I do the ls dash lh. We can confirm that the four gig file has been created. And then if we do the df dash h of dot, we see that the four gig file is taken up that amount of space and the free space has been reduced by that amount. So this is how we are able to put a file system on those logical volumes, right? We see that we actually did three different kinds of file systems and they are just treat it like any other file system. You can just copy and delete files from there. So to sum it all up, in order to use LVMs, step one is that you need to create one or more physical volumes. Step two is to use those physical volumes to build a volume group. Step three, you use the space within the volume group to create one or more logical volumes. Once you have a logical volume, step four is that you will need to lay down a file system in that space. Then as step five, you can mount and use the logical volume. For more videos on the Linux command line, make sure you watch these videos here. Or if you are interested in learning about Linux tips and tricks, watch these videos here. And make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.